Nothing says the Ozarks summer like Pineapple Whip. We're so happy to see Zach Fortner with Pineapple Whip, the iconic, legendary sweet treat that we all look forward to. And I'm so glad you brought some for us to try. I mean, I have to, right? I mean, yeah. come what, on. What good am I if I don't show up Let me tantalize you, but you yes, can't have it. Can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Tell us about, uh, you're celebrating a milestone, and tell our viewers, you know, about Pineapple Whip, if they don't already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're celebrating 50 years this year. Um, I didn't start it. My grandpa started it back in the 70s. Oh, wow. uh, my dad and my uncle ran it together for a long time, and now I'm third generation doing it. So Very yeah. cool. Um, yeah, so it's kind of an exciting milestone. We didn't really know what to do with it. We're doing a couple of fun things, and mm -hmm. hope people will like it. Yeah. So for somebody not familiar with Pineapple Whip, mm -hmm. What exactly is it? Is, is yeah, it ice cream? Yeah, so ice. ice cream is its closest cousin. It's a non-dairy fruit juice based soft serve. So it's it's like ice cream, but there's no dairy, no soy, no gluten. We don't call it a health food by any means. It's definitely a dessert. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's something that some people can have that can't have traditional ice cream, so. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you the first time years and years and years ago, first time I ever tried it was at the Ozark Empire Fair. Yeah. Because right. you guys were there and it was so much fun to get to try the different flavors. And you guys are there also this week? Right, yeah, so that's where we started. Uh, that For the first uh, maybe 10 or 12 years of our existence, that's the only place we were, the fair, 10 days a year, that was it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my dad and my uncle kept hearing from people, boy, this is good, we wish we could have it more often. So we built the trailers that we have today, they're all DIY, <laughs> we did them ourselves. Wow. Lula Girls too. they're all homemade. Oh, uh -huh. okay. So we Iconic. Took, we took to the street uh, mid to late 80s, uh, I think it was 86 or 87. Uh, with our first trailer, and uh, we've been doing that ever since. So, wow. so where yeah. are your trailers located throughout Springfield? Yes, yeah, so we've got four. Um, there's one on South Glenstone, East Sunshine, West Battlefield, and South Campbell. Mm -hmm. uh, but the one at South Glenstone is now traveled to the fair. So that, oh. that's our, we call it our Wandering Whip location. <laughs> <A> wandering, <laughs> wandering Whip. <laughs> yeah. So okay. it's at the fair right now, and it goes to a couple different events like Arts Fest and mm -hmm. uh, Cider Days and a few other things like that. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, should we try some, Maddie? I think I you think need to try so. some. I think so. And yeah. maybe explain the, the sure. fun flavors you brought. Right, yeah. So we always have pineapple at every location. It's on our signs. It'd be silly if we didn't have pineapple. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. So the lighter colored one is the pineapple. And oh. then I've got a mango peach flavor that I've made fresh also. Yeah, the, lid, the lids, we don't no, want them to come good. off. They're they're, still, you yeah. don't want them to leak. That's right, that's right. Um, so we've got the pineapple and the mango peach fresh. I've also got a twist that has both flavors in one cup. Um, and then oh, I've, wow. I've got a couple of pre-frozen pints of our other flavors we keep on hand at all of our stands. Um, so I've got a grape flavor, which is our oldest, um, next to pineapple. Lemon berry, I've got a strawberry kiwi, and then of course another mango peach. Oh my so. gosh. This is so fresh though. And I know you said it's not a health food by any means, but I do feel healthy eating nor, it. Nor a breakfast food, but hey, it'll work. It'll I, work, work any time, time of day is for pineapple <laughs> whip. Yeah. So the original flavor, obviously, pineapple sure. for the name. Yep, yep. How'd that, the name come about, though? I'm curious how your grandpa came up with it. I wasn't around then. I'm uh, really sure. <laughs> There's no I, old wives' I, tales about it, you know. I'm not privy to a lot of the early information. I wasn't mm. born until the 80s, so. Yeah. yeah. When, Wait. They, when they were lo locating the, or re Putting out the trailers. Right, right, right. right. I was. Uh, <laughs> Which one is this again? That's the mango peach. That is amazing. Okay, let me try it here. Okay, you, let's just switch. That mango peach, phenomenal. The, yeah, the pineapple is the most popular by quite a bit, but then the, the mango peach is probably oh. tied for second with that strawberry kiwi flavor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, are, do you have a lot of customers saying, like, well, why don't you try banana or why don't you try, you know? We have one. We have a banana do, pomegranate okay. flavor. Not, mm. not present today. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you take input from customers? Of, and you're probably like a. Already done that one. We do, <laughs> yep. It's in the works. Yeah, the one we get asked about most is uh, coconut flavor. Mm. Mm. And we have experimented with that quite a bit. Um, my uh, my brother has one in Kansas, in Junction City, Kansas, and they've played with one they think they like. So mm. we, we might try that at some point. We'll but see. can I tell you, the pineapple, it's reminiscent of that beach feel. I know. It almost tastes like a pina colada type feel without the coconut, though. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty hard to beat. And, yeah. and on a hot day in particular, like, there's just kind of no... There's no beating. I was gonna say this swirl, the the mango, peach, uh -huh. and the pineapple. That probably tastes like a straight up pina colada okay, or something. Okay, we gotta try Yeah, get in here. Get, give both Come of on. them a try. Yeah, so we I, all, I have them both. We'll always have a second flavor. It's always pineapple and one other flavor that mm. we could always twist those two together. Mm. That is so mm. great. And great then the cups idea. that you see here, we also do a catering option where we we have a bunch of coolers. We'll send them with dry ice in them and pack these cups with the lids on them so people can take them for events and things like that. So it's okay. a pretty good pretty good setup. So then. How long are you mm. open throughout the year? Because you were talking about the whip solstice. Yeah, right. So we're open for about six months, uh, late March, early April, whenever it gets warm enough, uh -huh. until it starts getting cool, uh, mid to late September is when we close. Mm -hmm. And then we just open for that 
three, four days, something like that in the middle of January, February, whenever the forecast gives us a little break. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For the whip solstice, something we, we just kind of did as a joke 10 years ago. And what do you know? People came out for it. People liked it. Turns I'm out telling people are, you. People <laughs> love that. Yeah. People look forward to that, yeah, what, that few days in winter. I think it was just a happy accident. People are just kind of looking for something to give them an excuse to get out and do something mm -hmm. that time of year. And if the weather's a little bit, you know, decent, they'll they'll come out. So. Yeah. And yeah. in those, you know, those winter days, you're longing for summer. And this reminds you of summer. And yeah. Yeah. Which helps your mental state. It really does. Right. Yeah. I think everybody's looking forward to it, especially when the days are short and mm -hmm. it's kind of dark. And, and it's dark mm -hmm. at five o'clock. Oh. Dark, dark at five o'clock. Yes. Good for us when we go to bed. But yeah. But this is so iconic. So many people around here love it. You said you have a brother in Kansas City. Are there any other plans for any other areas? Uh, no, not necessarily. Um, my, my brother, he's it's in Junction City, Kansas, next to Manhattan, mm -hmm. is where he's got his. Um, and we've got the four here, and we're just kind of keeping a small family operation. So yeah. this is so. And good. the Glenstone trailer is at the Ozark Empire Fair. That's correct. Yes. Okay, so and people should look for maybe the hula girl with the hips. Yes, she's always there. Okay. Uh, she never takes days off. Mm -mm. Yeah, she's uh, always busy working. working. Right, she is union, so we have okay. to respect yeah, that. Yes. But, <laughs> If, if people want information, do you have a, a social media, a Facebook page? Yeah, we're on all the socials. I'm even trying TikTok out. I'm, I'm maybe a little, Yay. a little older than most TikTokers, but that's okay. That yeah. hula girl's gonna make it on TikTok. I know it. Yeah, <laughs> I know she will. She's gonna make a name for herself. It's so good to see you. Thank you for yeah, bringing us. Yeah, thank you so much we for having me. Appreciate you, guys. If you've not had pineapple whip, you are missing out. This is amazing.